Hey everybody, uh, we're back in the shop. We're gonna clean the crankshaft up and get it ready to go back in. Um, I'm gonna be scrubbing on this for a while. I've just started on it. You can see how you can see how the uh, color difference from there to there. So I'm gonna be cleaning on this thing for a while, but uh, I don't have a place to set the camera, so I'm not gonna show any of that. And you can only watch somebody wire brush stuff for so long, right? So, anyway, we'll get this cleaned up and we'll come back later when we're ready to put it in. Okay, so I got the crank cleaned up. I'm getting ready to lay the bearings in the block. And pulled out my thrust bearing first. And just looking at it to figure out which way it went. And it's not obvious which way this bearing goes in. It doesn't have a tab on it like they normally do. So I went and found the old bearing. It obviously has a tab. This one is a GM bearing still, so it is factory. Um, so looking at the differences besides that, uh, the old bearing has two oil holes in it. The new bearing has three so apparently they've made it apparently they've made it so this bearing can go in either direction I guess I don't really see any other significant I don't see any significant difference from one side to the other uh, another difference between the two bearings uh, the factory bearing has three slots in each side for oil for the flange, the new bearings have two. Um, I don't know, just thought that was interesting. Okay, we got all of our bearings in. We're gonna get our lowers in. We're gonna just set the crankshaft in place and uh, measure our. Okay, we got all our main caps in now. Um, bolts are not all torqued yet. I have torqued some of them. Um, the, uh, or I've started torquing them, but I haven't gotten them all done yet. Um, the, uh, most of the important bolts on these is a, an angle measurement for final torque. So you torque it up to a certain point and then, uh, you have to rotate the bolt a certain number of degrees beyond that, um, which requires the use of a torque angle gauge. Um, and the only thing I find more annoying than having to use a torque angle gauge is having to fix my torque angle gauge so that I can use it. Yep, here we go. Okay, so we just got done plastic gauging the main bearings. Um, if you're not familiar with what plastic gauge is, um, I don't know if it'll focus, it's a little plastic wire. Um, you can usually buy it in 12 inch lengths and then you cut a piece of it and lay it into your, or lay it on your crank journals. Get the glare out of this. You can kind of see it on there, but uh, you lay it on your journals and put install your bearings and torque everything down and then the outside of the package has this little scale on it and you hold that scale next to when you take it back apart you hold that scale next to that glare is terrible next to the plastic gauge And then that gives you basically your measurement. So based on what it lines up with the best. So it's 
the mark or the gauge shows wider or it looks wider than the mark for two thousands. It looks like it lines up pretty well with one and a half. It's not quite as wide as the one thousand mark. So we'll say one and a half. This one's probably between one and a half and two thousandths. That's our center bearing. And then up here, we're about one and a half. And about one and a half. Um, which sounds awfully tight. But, i come over here to the book. Where is it? Um, main bearing oil clearance, V8 engine. Point zero 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 eight or eight tenths of a thousandth to two point oh oh two one two thousandths and one tenth. So we're at about point zero zero one five. So we're within the the factory spec. Um, I'm used to older small blocks where we ran them a little looser than this. So I'm actually glad because I bought standard. Uh, bearings for this i did not buy or you have an option of buying 1000 undersized bearings for these if you um, want to tighten your clearances up i'm really glad i didn't do that now because we would have been too tight so we'll get the uh, plastic gauge cleaned off the bearings and cleaned off the crank and we'll get her put back together final Well, we got her back in, got everything, got assembly lube put in everything, got everything tight, yeah, see if I can talk. Torque down, tightened up, um, she turns nice and smooth. Um, the only drag is just the drag from the lube. Um, yeah, it feels nice and smooth. Um, so, I'm gonna have to clean some more parts before I can put any more together. But uh, anyway, we've, we've finally made some progress going back together. So anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody.